With the Los Angeles Times, Lindsay Theory joined by beer reporter Gary Klein. We're on the campus of USC where there was breaking news late Tuesday afternoon. The schools reinstated Josh Shaw to the football team. And it's an interesting time, Gary, because it's USC UCLA rivalry week. I know you were here Monday morning and there was no sign of Shaw. What did you see on Monday? Well, we saw the Trojans come out and begin uh, practicing, getting ready for UCLA. And of course, in this program, another big distraction <laughs> comes down. Later in the afternoon, the district attorney says it is not going to file charges against Shaw in an investigation that had been going on. So that set the wheels in motion for what happened today. The wheels set in motion Tuesday morning. Steve Zarkeesian said that nothing had reached his desk yet. My, how a few hours changes things. That's right. He had said it would be nice to have Josh Shaw back, but uh, they had already played 10 games without him and, and it really indicated that they might be moving forward. But later on uh, in the afternoon, obviously some things happened. Some things did happen. Uh, Josh Shaw walked into Heritage Hall to have an apparent meeting with uh, the administration of USC and USC Athletics. When he came out, you caught up with him. I did catch up with him. He was very polite politely declined to comment, but it was obvious that something was going on. Either he was going to be reinstated, they were starting the wheels of, you know, of what was going to happen, and of course a short time later came the announcement that he was back. Yeah, it's just an hour and a half later, USC announced that uh, with no charges being filed, that they have finished their internal investigation, the NCAA, our USC compliance has finished their investigation, so Shaw will return to the team. Now Steve Sarkeesian did say tonight on the USC radio show that uh, Shaw will no longer be a team captain. That's right, the C will come off his jersey. Sarkeesian indicated that a captain at USC does things right, does things right all the time. And although Josh Shaw has been remorseful and done what he needed to do to get back into the good graces of his team, uh, he will no longer be a captain. Good graces of his team. That doesn't mean this entire saga is over because now he has to be reintroduced to the football field here at USC into the locker room. How do you think these teammates of his will handle it, especially a few guys who've kind of cemented their positions in the secondary? Yeah, that will be a real interesting dynamic to try and track as USC plays UCLA and then, and then Notre Dame and then, of course, goes to its bowl game. As you mentioned, there are some young players that have stepped up that have gotten opportunities. Uh, it'll also be interesting to see how how Sarkeesian works him in practice drills. Uh, there is no indication necessarily that he's going to play against UCLA. He may not play against Notre Dame. Sarkeesian says he's going to wait and see. But uh, I'm sure USC fans who've watched this team struggle, especially at times in the secondary, are, there's going to be a portion of the fan base that's going to want to see him on the field. And it, uh, once again, UCLA and Notre Dame coming up on the schedule. So it's quite the timing for Josh Shaw to return to the team. Be sure to keep it on the Los Angeles Times for all the latest on this developing situation. With Gary Klein, I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times.